In this video, I would like to walk you through the steps on how to access your MindTap homework and walk through the process of completing a homework and submitting it. On the screen is your Environmental Science D2L course shell. The table contents are lifted at the left, listed at the left. You may need to click on Content to get the table of contents to show up on the left if you're anywhere else within this navigation bar. Then click on the MindTap Homework Quiz Quick Access link. The material that's listed here is regarding how to access MindTap, so we're going to skip that for now. Here's the link that you want to click. When you click on this link, if you've already accessed MindTap previously and entered your access code, it will open up a new window which looks like this. The MindTap window is arranged in chapters with a video and these items pertain to the ebook. So if you click on them you'd actually get into the ebook and you can read the book. Here's the reflection vote, the homework, and the quiz. There are two views that you can use. List view which shows you the due dates very nicely or a module view in which you would have to click on the folder to find the chapter that you're working on. I'm going to go back to the list view. So we're looking at the homework today. Click on Homework Environmental Problems, Their Causes and Sustainability. And the homework screen opens up. Please notice that the total points for this homework assignment is 40 points. There are five sections to the homework and notice you get three attempts at each section. It also states how many points each section is worth. In regards to these three attempts, the highest score earned is the score that is calculated for the total grade. Let's click on the first section. Take your time to read. The paragraphs and then begin to answer questions. Anytime you see something highlighted in blue, you can click on it and it will refer specifically to the text location that the question is about. So I'm going to click and select an answer and click on the blank and select an answer and continue to do that. For now I'm guessing at these answers. I wouldn't recommend that you do that. So this question is referring to this paragraph. And if you're not sure where the sentence is, you just click on it and it highlights it. And this question is asking us to describe direct and immediate effects on biodiversity on the earth. We'll click those. Now, we have a choice at this point. We're on our first attempt and we can click grade it now or we can save and continue to the next section. I'm going to save and continue to the next section. The next section will open up. Notice the point allotment has changed. This is the second section for the homework. And you're going to scroll down and we're going to fill in the blanks as we're reading. And if you need to open up your book to get some help from your book, you can do so. Click Save It Now to go to the next section. And I'm now in section 3 that's worth 11 points. And sometimes these questions will require that you are able to interpret graphics. Uh, that is well fitting for a science course. And again, I'm walking through this to give you an example 
of how to answer these now. We're on section three. I'm going to click save and continue. And let's say after section four, which is worth seven points, I open this up and realize I'm not going to be able to complete this right now. There is a video involved with this that you can play in order to help get the answers. Now, at this point, let's say you ran out of time in terms of uh, being available to do the homework. So if you click save and continue, it will save your answers and you can log out and you can come back in later tomorrow or the following day and your answers will still be there. I'm going to click grade it now to see how I did on this section. It looks like I got a 2 out of 7. Not too good. When you click grade it now, the ones that you answered incorrectly, it will give you an explanation pertaining to what the correct answer is. Notice that at the bottom it says try another version. Well, a 2 out of 7 is not very good, so I'm going to try this again. I have a video to watch still, but the questions may have changed ever so slightly. Let me get this to scroll down. Pick some of these. And I'm going to grade it again. This is my second attempt. Looks like I got a little bit of a better grade, a three on this one. So I'm going to continue. I am going to take that three as a grade and move on. Okay. And you continue to answer the questions. Save and continue and it pulls me out to this screen. Notice the two times that I did grade it now, the grades are indicated here. The other symbols represent that that section is still considered to be in progress. So in order to finalize the, those sections, I actually will need to click to get back into it, verify my answers, As I scroll down, grade it, and check my grade. Looks like I had a 5 out of 9, so I'm not going to do this one again. I'm waiting on the uh, mouse to allow me to scroll down. There we go. Continue to the next section. And we're going to grade this one. See how I did. I want to do it again. I probably should try another version of that. So you can click on try another version. You get three attempts each time. Click on grade it now again. this one I already did two attempts. If I wanted to try a third attempt I could do so by clicking on try another version and we'll grade this one. Not good. One out of eight. And now it's going to take me back to this screen. It says my overall grade is 16 out of 40 or a 40 percent. Not the best. And I can go back and click and try some of these again. Notice there's no time limit on this either. So once you're satisfied with your grade and doing the attempts, you click I'm done, grade the assignment now. And it states that you are about to submit the assignment. You will not be able to change your answers after you click yes, grade the assignment. So if you're done, click yes, grade the assignment. And it just submitted it to the professor for grading. Now you're done with this item, you can close it 
and this is an instructional view but normally it would show you what your grade is directly next to the homework that you just completed especially if you're in the module view it will show you your grade down in this section okay also while we're here please see that notice that the orange items count towards your grade and anything else does not count towards your grade so even though these readings have due dates that's just to help keep you moving along in the course they do not count towards your grade the only items in mind tap that count towards your grade are the reflection vote the homework and the quiz okay so that is how you work on a homework assignment in mind tap